What's up guys, Tommy Bowie here from Movie Rewind and today I will be counting down the top 5 casualty couples. So without further ado, let's get into it. been so many couples in Casualty's 35 year history that I have simply lost count. Let's face it, the staff of Holby City Emergency Department can't remain professional and can't keep their hands off each other and that is why today I thought it would be a great idea to recognise some of the best couples I have ever seen in Casualty as a programme. Now a couple of disclaimers before we get into the ranking. Firstly, this video is pure biased, it's based solely on my opinions, um, so please take that into consideration. Secondly, I have been watching Casualty since 2007, so obviously my views would be very different from someone who's only been watching Casualty since 2016, or someone who's been watching Casualty since 1986. So obviously we're all going to have different views. Thirdly, this is a top 5 ranking. Now, I think I could have had top 50 ranking, but... I had to squeeze it down, so if you don't see some couples which you think deserve to be on this list, they probably would be on a top 10 list, but because I had to limit it down to top 5, it meant getting rid of some couples, which I think are very good as well. And of course, last but not least, what are your opinions, guys? What couples in Casualty do you think deserve recognition? Please feel free to comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. I would love to hear your opinions. And now that all of that is out of the way... Let's get on with the ranking. At number five, we have Connie and Jacob. Now, Connie and Jacob are a very interesting couple. For the simple reason, actors Amanda Meelan and Charles Venn have fantastic chemistry with one another. And I always loved that two very different characters could come together as a couple. I think Jacob really did soften Connie. We saw a side to Connie which we don't usually see, a more vulnerable side, a side that actually cared about Jacob. And I think that is why it worked so well. Even when they weren't together, you could tell that just from the little uh, looks they would give one another that they really did care about one another. If only Connie had decided to let Jacob in more, then maybe their relationship could have survived. Because let's face it, I think they could have gone all the way with that relationship. They could have done a lot more about it. Now, I've heard Amanda Meenan say that some of the producers involved with the program at the time didn't really like Connie and Jacob as a couple. Well, it's obvious those producers don't know what they were talking about because that relationship was really strong and I loved it a lot. Next we have Zoe and Max. Now Zoe and Max is probably one of the funniest couple relationships I have ever seen. There was so much humour and funny moments when they were in a relationship and it just worked and basically it was one of those relationships where it could have just stayed a fling because I think that's what it was at first but they really did develop strong feelings with one another and they actually decided to get married. They made it to the wedding and they actually got married. However, of course, as we all know, uh, Zoe cheated on Max the day before the wedding and then they decided to break up and then there was months and months whether they were going to get back together or were they going to stay apart and then of course we had Zoe's departure I still remember that departure to this day I felt absolutely devastated for Max that Zoe left without him because you could tell that I think for Max Zoe was the love of his life so when actor Jamie Davis decided to leave a couple of years later I thought it was great that they brought Zoe back and the storyline went exactly as I wanted it to they decided to leave together and I think that was fantastic Zoe and Max really did deserve one another it was a very funny relationship they had their ups and downs but it's also one of the few casualty relationships which actually ended on a positive note and that's always a really good thing. Halfway through the ranking now, and we're going back a couple of years for number three, as we have Alice and Curtis. Now, oh my God, this was such a tragic story. Um, I always thought Alice was a great character, a very shy and very realistic character as well. Um, she fitted with Curtis so well. I think all Alice wanted was someone who she could love and who loved her back and Curtis clearly did that. But of course it ended in tragedy, Curtis of course falling off the hospital roof and being killed instantly. 
it was such a devastating way to go. I mean, they were engaged to be married and I'm currently watching Classic Casualty. We're halfway through series 23 at the moment, obviously because um, I don't watch it when it's on air. I catch up with recordings. Um, and you can see that relationship blossom and you want them to succeed so much. So I think that's why the tragic nature of the outcome, that really hits hard. They were a great couple and I just wish that it had ended in a happier way. They deserved to be happy. They really did. The runner up coming in in second place is Ruth and Jay. Now talk about opposites attract because... Jay was a fun-loving nurse, Ruth was the workaholic doctor, but somehow that really relationship really did work and it was a pleasure to watch on screen. Two really great actors, um, especially Georgia Taylor who portrayed Ruth, some amazing storylines that character went through. Um, and honestly, it ended on a very happy note. They decided to leave the department after finding out that Ruth was pregnant for a better life. And I think that is why it's such a strong relationship because they went through a lot. There was many ups and downs, which is of course what you want to see. You don't just want a stale relationship. You want it to be exciting. You want it to be dramatic. You want there to be a lot of cliffhangers and shock revelations. But at the end of the day, it concluded with them leaving Holby together happy. And I think that's why it stands out for me, because it ended on a positive note. And Ruth and Jay were great with one another. There was a lot of comedy there, but you could tell that they really did care about one another. Ruth was someone who didn't usually show her emotions to anyone, but her barriers broke down with Jay and she learned to let him in. And that is why it was such a great relationship to watch. And I would love to see them two return, actually. Uh, there are some characters I'd love to see return in the future, but only if they are together. Because, you know, I don't want them separated. Don't get that idea into your head whatsoever. <laughs> and in first place, my favorite casualty couple of all time is... <laughs> Ethan and Alicia. It had to be. Um, they were fantastic. Now, some people might be saying, what about Ethan and Phoenicia? Because obviously that was one of Ethan's relationships. But if you ask me, Ethan and Alicia were soulmates. So well suited with one another. And they were one of those couples that I always wanted to get together. Ever since um, they started developing that relationship, I could see it working, even when they went through all of the troubles with Cal, and obviously when Cal was stabbed and Ethan was grieving, he pushed Alicia away, but they always went back to one another, and I think that's why it was so devastating that when Alicia left Holby, she turned down Ethan's marriage proposal and left him behind. Now, obviously, Ethan recovered, he moved on, uh, but... To be honest, I would love Alicia to come back because she worked really, really well with Ethan and I could just see that relationship blossoming into something really special. I really could. Um, they will always be my favourite couple. I remember every episode just watching, waiting to see if there was signs that they were going to get back together. Um, obviously, they were on and off throughout most of Alicia's time in Casualty, but I always did love that couple and they'll always be my personal favourite. So thanks for watching guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. And of course, please make sure to comment down below who are your favourite couples in Casualty. Obviously, I know mine um, are not the uniformed answer. Obviously, everyone has different opinions and that's a good thing and I would love to hear your opinions on this. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another one. See ya!